What's up guys, this is Tyler with RevRides. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to change the front and rear tires and tubes on the 010X. At the end of this video, you should be able to repair a flat or upgrade to a better tire. So let's get to it. Today we're gonna to be replacing the stock Hoda tire with the 10 by three wide tire. This tire is wider, it's a little bit higher quality. It's definitely has a lot better performance on the street. And then we have the off-road tires as well. You can find these on the site. These are the urban hybrid off-road tires. It's like a all-terrain tire. They do pretty well on the pavement. They do really well in gravel, but not so great in uh, mud and really loose dirt. And then we have the off-road tire option. This is our most aggressive tire. We don't recommend this on the pavement, but it's great if you only ride off-road. Uh, so if you've got any more questions on the tires, just leave it in the comments below. So today for tools, we're gonna to be using blue Permatex thread locker, our fix-it sticks with the number four Allen and number two Phillips, an 18 millimeter end wrench, a flat screwdriver, and then an air pump. Optional tools today are going to be a half inch drive torque wrench and then a 17 millimeter half inch drive socket. So lastly, we have some soapy water and a spray bottle. This is gonna help us get the tire on and off the rim on the thousand watt version of the 10X. So let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start with the rear tire. So we've got three clips holding the motor wiring in. We've got one right back here. We've got one here and then we have one tucked in the back here. We don't need to fully remove these clips. We're just going to bend them out of the way. So I'm gonna come in from the bottom with the flat blade screwdriver. I'm just gonna push it up. And then the next one, I'm gonna come in from the bottom. Bring it straight up. And then for the last one, we come from the bottom and then I'm just gonna hook the corner of it and bring it right back. Now with those loose, we should be able to bring the slack cable out of the deck. We don't wanna pull too hard on this. We just wanna bring the slack out. Right about there. And then we're gonna Make sure our wiring is clear of all of our clips. Okay, so we're all out. Next, we're gonna take off the axle nuts on each side. These are an 18 millimeter. Okay, so we wanna pull back these locking washers. Just lightly bring those back. We wanna try and not scratch the paint on our swing arm here. And then the same thing on the other side. So now we should be able to slide the whole motor and tire straight back. and then slide our slack cable through. Bring this over. So we're not going to completely disconnect the motor. We're gonna leave this wire on the scooter itself. Um, right now what I'm using, this is just like a motorcycle jack. It helps to have something like this that has a hole in the center of it um, or if you have a vise at table level, you can set it on a vise. Uh, just something so you can set this nice flat and level. So there's two different versions of the 10X motor. We've got the 60 volt, 1200 watt, and then the 52 volt, 1000 watt here. We're gonna start with the 60 volt. So let's uh, get it open here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna let the air out of the tire. I'm gonna use the tip of my screwdriver to depress the Schrader valve. 
Once the air is out of the tire, we can flip it over here. I'm going to pull these washers off. We'll go ahead and remove the brake rotor. Now we'll pull the brake rotor off here. Now we're going to go ahead and split the rim. All right, so we're just going to firmly pull up on the tire. We want to make sure that we don't rip the valve stem because it's still through the hole inside the motor. Just gently wiggle it out. Push on it from the back side here a little bit. Now we can remove the split ring out of the tire. And then we'll go ahead and just pull the tube out. We want to be careful not to rip this tube. We are going to reuse this. This is always a good time to replace your tube. All right, so here's the tire we're going to be replacing. This was definitely worn out. Um, this scooter has about a thousand miles on it. It looks like it was some pretty rough riding. There's a lot of dirt, dust around it. And then this tube did have tire slime in it, but it's got some pretty good size punctures. So we're definitely gonna go ahead and replace this uh, tube as well. All right, so here's our new tire. We wanna pay attention. We've got an arrow right here showing the tire rotation. We, uh, we wanna make sure we don't put it on backwards. So we're gonna flip this over. Uh, we've got the arrow, it's gonna rotate this way. Um, the brake rotor's on this side, it's gonna be the right side. With new tubes, I do like to add a little bit of air to them to try to just give them a little bit of shape. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. There we go. All right, so now we wanna put our new tube in our tire. We wanna make sure that the valve stem is angled down. Go ahead. And then we wanna just make sure that it's seated in here and doesn't have any kinks. It's not twisted, nothing that would cause it to prematurely fail. And then we can go ahead and line up our valve stem with our valve stem hole. Slide it right on there. We'll go ahead and install our outer ring and we'll make sure that we line up these holes with the holes inside. We're going to make sure we put a dab of Loctite on each one of the bolts. Then we're going to go ahead and just firmly push down, install our first bolt. We're going to just thread it in by hand. And go ahead and get one started on the opposite side. All right, so now we're gonna put the brake rotor back on. Uh, they do have a rotation direction. So we're gonna look, the tire's gonna be rotating this way. We've got the arrow here, so we're gonna put that facing down. Same thing, we're gonna put a dab of Loctite on each one of these. And go ahead and start them by hand. We'll go ahead and put the dust cap on. And then on the non-brake side, we need one washer. And then we'll bring this up on the brake side. We're gonna put two inside washers. Now 
Now this should be all ready to go back on the scooter. So here we've got the 52 volt, 1000 watt motor. We've already removed the uh, brake rotor off of this side. Uh, that step is optional. I do like to remove it just because it's easily damaged or bent while you're trying to do this. So to start, we're gonna let the air out of the tire. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the rim fasteners out and get this rim split. Okay, so now that all the fasteners are out, we can go ahead and pull up on the tire. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and remove this split ring. Now, if you're just gonna be replacing the tube, you can go ahead and leave the tire here, pull the tube out. And then you should be able to just slide the tube over the rim. And then you can replace your new tube. If you're replacing the entire tire, we're going to flip this over, get out our soapy water, going to just spray quite a bit. And then we'll just hold the motor down and pull the pull this straight up. Okay, just like that. All right, so we've got our new tire. We're gonna go ahead and once again, we're gonna pay attention to the rotation direction. The brake rotor is gonna be on this side, so this wheel is gonna rotate this way. We've got our rotational arrow going this way. We'll go ahead and spray this down with some soapy water. So sometimes you saw these can be pretty difficult to push over there. Uh, you can use tire irons, the small ones. Uh, they tend to mar up the rim. So it is best if you can avoid using those. All right, so now that we've got the tire over the rim, we'll go ahead and insert the tube. You wanna make sure that you insert the tube with the valve stem facing the split rim side. So we'll go ahead and insert that over and go ahead and tuck this inside of the tire. We want to inspect it, make sure that there's no, no large creases, no twist in the tube, and then we can go ahead and seat our tire. Bring our split ring over, put our valve stem through the ring, pull it through, and then line up our fastener holes in the split ring. And then we'll go ahead and same thing, we're gonna apply Loctite to all of the fastener bolts. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and put air in it. Now we're gonna flip it over, we'll get our brake rotor put back on, and then we can get this back on the scooter. 
All right, so now we can go ahead and put the motor back on the scooter. Uh, we want to make sure that this wiring is facing towards the bottom. We'll go ahead and line it up here. We want to make sure that the rotor slides into the brake caliper. There we go. All right, so now we can go ahead and put our washers on here. We want to make sure they're pushed all the way in and located in their slots on the front. And then we're going to go ahead and take our torque wrench and we're going to torque this to 40 foot pounds. And then we just want to make sure that our wiring gets routed back through our clips. And then we can go ahead and push the clips in. Okay, and then we'll just finish inserting our wiring back into the deck. like that and now the rear tire has been changed all right now we're going to move on to the front tire and getting the front motor out. Right, so we'll start by getting some of our wire clips out of the way here we'll just pull one screw out of that and then we should be able to push this out of the way get that one out all right, so we'll take the flathead screwdriver, come in from the back side. We've got one more on the front here. We'll go ahead and remove our one side of our fender here. We can go ahead and slide our wiring past our fender. Take our 18 millimeter end wrench. Get these moved out of the way. And same with this side. Now we should be ready to pull the motor off and uh, change out the tire. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull the motor straight forward. and then set it on our bench. And then we're gonna go ahead and repeat the exact same process as we did for the rear. All right, so now we've got the tire on, we're ready to put the front motor back on the scooter here. We want to have one of our washers on each side. And then again, we're gonna make sure that our wiring is coming out the bottom. Get this out of the way. Go ahead and make sure our wiring is underneath our fender. Slide our rotor in. And we'll go ahead and torque this to 40 foot-pounds. And then we'll go ahead and get our wire clips bent back into place. 
we'll get these screws put back in and then we'll be ready to go. All right, so now we got our tires swapped over. If you guys have any questions about which tires are best for you or anything in the video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more content.